Now, the very beginning of AOSK had aims of the association spelled out. And I'd like to mention one after the other, because the last one seems like where we are. The first one is enhance holistic formation and capacity building of women religious in Kenya to in areas of spiritual, intellectual, and psychological. This you have done very well, very well. Enhance prophetic witness and remain relevant in society. That's where we are heading to. Number three was foster communication and co cooperation among members of the institutes due to regarding for the uh, safeguarding for the economy, autonomy, and different charisms. And the last one, promote collaboration among women religious, and I think I say men religious as well, with the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, KCCB, government and other stakeholders in responding to the needs of our time and society. That is the last one I want to deal with. And that's how I think we're getting there. Um, as I said earlier, it's nobody's wrongdoing. It's just happened to be so. And here we are, the meeting next, uh, where my brother, uh, Father Anton, has mentioned Tuesday next week, 22nd or so, the meeting of the Yamasea bishops, especially in matters that you've been discussing. And I think this is a, a slow movement of the Holy Spirit saying, let's all be one, like John 17, 21 says, Christ praying the last day for his disciples are looking at them and saying, I pray for these, and these are you and I and others we have spoken about, that they may be one, like you and Father and the Son himself are one. I pray for them to protect from the evil one. Keep them one. May they be witnesses. I think this is where we're heading to. So I see as a city and stand here, the prophecy being fulfilled. As I conclude, I have those few sentences I left my speeching. How can we, as one, move forward from 60? You are 60. Maybe we are more than 60. But there is something we need together. The synergy in our efforts, ideas, to maximize our strengths and opportunities so that we that our weaknesses and threats are less. What can we do? Right now, and I say this for those who live in Kenya, we have gone through evolution, the revolutions of politics and so on. And you know, they approach the women different from the men different. But unless we unite, unless we unite in every country, and you see the country and the world is moving towards unity, to light the right candles and to say the right things. Governance is one thing in our countries where we all come from. Areas of justice, social justice is one thing. More than that, we realize more and more, as our brother said, perhaps we may become too much doers, not too much prayers. I went to a school, and I repeat this one, I repeat it a thousand times, some of you have been, heard me say it, and this school of kids are doing extremely well, they are number one in the area. So it's a Catholic school, and I walked in, they're really active, you can see their dynamic. And I asked them little children, good morning, I say good morning sir, I say no sir, no, 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 no sir, good morning bishop, they've been told a uh, bishop, so they know that, no sir. Anyway, I asked them, what is the secret of your success? They said, here, sir. Here, sir. Oh, so, uh, here, Bishop. Here, Bishop. <laughs> anyway, one of the kids I said, what do you say? PhD. PhD. Yes, what's P for? Prayer. What is H for? Hard work. What is D for? Discipline. I said, 
Wow, guys, you're good, eh? Yes! What do you want to be? How can I do that? You know, they get, they're very dynamic. A Catholic school. You don't find that in many schools. But this particular one touched me. And from there you could see the dynamism of the teacher, the teachers, dynamism of the staff, and so on. So I think we have a lot, but we, li we let it limit. And some people are taking it away from us. How? Our private schools, and nothing wrong with that, are no longer caring for the poor. Is it true? Because if I can't pay, they cannot pay, they cannot come. So I get a call, like any mistress, head mistress somewhere, and that's where they bring our kids, their kids. And then I say to myself, how do we overcome this? We must strategize. Not that we don't want them anybody else. We just say, initially and basically, our mission is towards serving the underprivileged. That's our main thrust. Not because others are, we don't want them. We want them. But then also plant, as I say, the values that the kids like we have had here talk about, PhD. Last but not least, this is just the beginning. We'll be together for a long time. I promise you my presence everywhere as I can. God bless you and thanks for coming. Congratulations for 60.